So after using Peterbot's updated settings, my Fortnite is now super smooth. In today's video, I'll show you his exact updated settings for max FPS and zero input delay in Fortnite. These settings help your CPU and GPU work better and make Fortnite feel really fast and smooth. So let's get started. Gear Up Booster is a great tool that helps reduce your ping while playing games and it works with both wired and wireless connections. Download it safely from the official website using the link in the description and enjoy with lower ping. Step one, maximize CPU performance by unlocking all processors for Fortnite. Press the Windows key on your keyboard and type system configuration in the search bar. When it pops up, click to open it. Once the window opens, go to the boot tab at the top, then click the advanced options button. A smaller box will appear. This is where the magic happens. Now check the box that says number of processors and from the drop down menu, select the highest number available. That number represents how many cores your CPU has and by picking the max, you're telling Windows to unleash the full power of your system. Once you're done, click OK, then apply and close everything. After you restart your PC, your CPU will be fully unlocked and running at 100% power. This small tweak helps Fortnite run smoother, reduces lag and input delay and boosts FPS especially in big fights or busy zones. Step two, make Fortnite a priority so it runs smoother. You can download and access all the files in one place from my Discord server. I'll also provide the links in the description. Now that your CPU is fully unlocked, we'll make Fortnite the main focus for your computer so it always gets top priority. Open the folder called Fortnite Priority Manager. You'll find three files inside, Fortnite Normal Priority, Fortnite Medium Priority, and Fortnite High Priority. These files are designed to set Fortnite's priority level depending on your PC's power. If you're on a low-end PC, double-click Fortnite Normal Priority. If you have a mid-range PC, open Fortnite Medium Priority. And if you're rocking a high-end gaming PC, go with Fortnite High Priority. After you click one of them, you'll get a pop-up asking for permission to make changes. Click Yes. This will automatically apply the priority setting in your system registry, meaning Fortnite will always start with that level of focus. Gear Up Booster is a great tool that helps reduce your ping while playing games, and it works with both wired and wireless connections. Download it safely from the official website using the link in the description and enjoy with lower ping. Step three, make Fortnite use CPU better with Run With Affinity. You can download and access all the files in one place from my Discord server. I'll also provide the links in the description. Next up, let's make Fortnite use your CPU more efficiently using a handy tool called Run With Affinity. This tool gives you direct control over how Fortnite uses your CPU cores, which can lead to fewer FPS drops and a smoother, more consistent frame rate. After downloading the tool, open it. No installation required. Inside, find Fortnite Launcher.exe, which is the main file that starts Fortnite. In the Affinity settings, choose the highest number available. This tells the tool to use all your CPU threads for Fortnite. The higher the number, the more CPU power the game gets. Then under the Run setting, select Maximize so Fortnite always launches in full screen mode with full performance. When that's set, create a shortcut through the tool and always start Fortnite using that shortcut. Doing this ensures that Fortnite always runs with the best possible CPU performance every single time you play. It helps eliminate micro stutters, boost stability, and is especially useful for low-end PCs that struggle to keep up with Fortnite's newer updates. Step four, using NVIDIA Profile. Inspector settings for Fortnite. You can download and access all the files in one place from my Discord server. I'll also provide the links in the description. If you're using an NVIDIA graphics card, this next step is going to give you a serious advantage. We'll use a hidden tool called NVIDIA Profile Inspector, which gives you access to deeper settings not available in the standard NVIDIA control panel. These custom tweaks can help improve your FPS and reduce input delay. Open NVIDIA Profile Inspector and in the search bar at the top, type Fortnite. Select it from the list. If you already downloaded my custom profile file from Discord, just import it directly. If not, follow these settings manually. In the anti-aliasing section, set transparency super sampling to 0 x Tetra 0 008. Then go to the texture filtering section and enable driver controlled LOD. Set both LOD bias DX and LOD bias OGL 2 plus 3. This reduces unnecessary fine details like grass and shadows, giving you better FPS. Now set negative LOD bias to clamp and texture filtering quality to high quality. Finally, under the power management section, set power management mode to optimal performance. Once done, click apply changes to save everything. These settings reduce visual clutter and boost performance, helping Fortnite run smoother and more stable, especially on lower end or mid range systems. Gear Up Booster is a great tool that helps reduce your ping while playing games, and it works with both wired and wireless connections. Download it safely from the official website using the link in the description and enjoy with lower ping. Step 5. Improve CPU performance using Throttle Stop for Fortnite. 
You can download and access all the files in one place from my Discord server. I'll also provide the links in the description. Now let's take CPU optimization one step further using a powerful tool called Throttle Stop. This tool makes sure your CPU stays fast and doesn't automatically slow down to save power during gameplay, which is something that often happens without you realizing. Open throttlestop.exe from the folder you downloaded. You'll see several performance modes. Performance mode, game mode, internet mode, and battery mode. Click on Game Power Plan. Then check the box next to High Performance. This tells your CPU to stay focused on gaming instead of saving energy. In the lower section, you'll see options like Clock Mode, Set Multiplier, and Speed Shift settings. Don't change these unless you know what you're doing. Just make sure to check Disable Turbo. This prevents overheating and keeps your CPU running stable during long Fortnite sessions. Finally, click Turn On, then Save, and leave Throttle Stop running in the background while you play. It ensures your CPU maintains a consistent clock speed, giving you smooth and lag-free performance even during intense matches or creative building sessions. Step 6. Use MSI Afterburner to boost your GPU clock speeds. You can download and access all the files in one place from my Discord server. I'll also provide the links in the description. Now it's time to optimize your GPU for maximum frame rate using MSI Afterburner. This is one of the most trusted tools for safe overclocking, giving your graphics card an extra boost for better FPS. Once installed, open MSI Afterburner. You'll see sliders for power limit, temperature limit, core clock, and memory clock. Start by increasing power limit and temperature limit all the way to the right. This allows your GPU to perform at its full potential without thermal throttling. Next, slowly raise your memory clock in small steps of plus 20. For example, start at plus 20, test Fortnite for stability, and if everything runs smoothly, go to plus 40, then plus 60, and so on. Always test after each adjustment. If Fortnite crashes or you notice artifacts, weird visual glitches, go back to the last stable setting. Once you find the sweet spot, click Apply to save your changes. This process helps your GPU render frames faster, leading to higher FPS and smoother visuals in every match. Step 7. Set Game Mode and Graphics Settings for Best Performance Click the Windows search bar and type Game Mode, then open it. Make sure Game Mode is turned on. This tells your system to give maximum resources to your game and minimize background activity. Next, type Graphics Settings in the search bar and open it. Click Browse, find the folder where Fortnite is installed, and select the file Fortnite Client Win 64 shippingexe after adding it, click on Fortnite in the list, hit Options, and set it to High Performance, then click Save. This ensures that your dedicated GPU always handles Fortnite, not your integrated graphics card. As a result, you'll get higher FPS, lower lag, and more consistent frame times across every session. You're now fully optimized for Fortnite. If this guide helped you boost FPS or fix lag, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe for more performance guides, and comment your FPS results below. I'd love to hear how much better Fortnite runs for you now.